हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द कोर्स ऑन बायोफार्मास्युटिकल्स आय एम ऋतुपर्ण करकरे वर्किंग ऐज असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर ऐट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इंजिनियरिंग के आई टीज कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनियरिंग कोलहापुर लेटस सी द ब्रॉडर ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस कोर्स थ्रू दिस कोर्स द लर्नर्स विल बी एबल टू ग्रास्प वेरियस आस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ बायोफार्मास्युटिकल इंडस्ट्री सच ऐज ड्रग डिस्कवरी डेवलपमेंट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग बेसिक्स different concepts of biopharmaceutical molecules such as mechanism to cure the target disease manufacturing of these molecules and the process details and quality and regulatory aspects this entire course contains 6 units let us commence with unit number 1 the title of the unit is drug discovery development and manufacturing the unit outline this unit will cover the following lessons pharmaceutical industry difference between pharmaceuticals and biopharmaceuticals biopharmaceutical industry drug discovery development cycle and manufacturing overview now let us start with lesson number 1 that is pharmaceutical industry when we consider the pharmaceutical industry the broader umbrella is healthcare industry healthcare industry includes three different type of segments one is post disease medication where the drugs are used to cure the disease the second one is prevention of disease that is we use vaccines to combat the onset of any disease and the third important segment is the nutraceuticals which are used in maintenance of health it contains different type of vitamin and related compounds when we talk about biopharmaceuticals firstly let us understand the pharmaceutical industry this industry is 90 years old it was having the worth of 100 billion dollars in mid 1980s in 2022 it was reported that the revenue at world level was 1.48 trillion dollars currently the pharmaceutical industry has excess of 5000 pharmaceutical substances we call them in general language as drug molecules when we consider the history of pharmaceutical industry in the old era the pharma products used to be extracted from natural sources like plants these are few examples the heart muscle stimulator called as digitalis was extracted from the plant fox glove the quinine compounds which was a medication on malaria was extracted from the barks or roots of cinchona plant the mixture of alkaloids which was effective on dysentery preventer was extracted from barks or roots of syphilis and the compounds like vinca alkaloids which were having the anti tumor that is anti cancer activity were extracted from the plant called as catharensis roseus previously these extracts used to be effective against these different elements but then as the pharmaceutical industry grew they started isolating the active principles which are working against some diseased condition and these active principles are called as the active pharmaceutical ingredient api these are few traditional pharmaceutical substances which pharma industries started producing by direct chemical synthesis the very popular one is paracetamol which is one analgesic it is acting as antipyretic agent there are few others like acyclovir which is antiviral agent cimetidine which is anti ulcer agent so these all kind of drugs are chemically synthesized in pharmaceutical industries we can also call it as organic synthesis mechanism but currently also the pharma products are isolated from the natural sources these are few examples if we consider the blood products that is the coagulation factors the albumin proteins these are collected from 
the natural sources like plasma or blood. If we talk about antibodies, they are also used for passive immunization. So, these kind of agents also are isolated from blood or plasma. If we consider antibiotics, they are isolated from the microorganisms by fermentation. And still in practice, there are plant extracts like alkaloids which are isolated from plants and these all are working as pharma products in the current market. So, this is all about the overview of pharmaceutical industry. Now, here is a reflection spot for you. List three currently marketed pharmaceutical products which are isolated from different natural sources with their disease targets. And the second exercise is list three currently marketed chemically synthesized pharmaceutical products with their disease targets. This is the end of lesson one. Thank you.